back to the show. I'm Peter Kessler. This is Making the Turn. Our next guest is Barry Goldstein. He's the director of golf instruction at Inverary Country Club in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. He is parentally selected as one of America's top 25 golf teachers by Golf Tips Magazine, uh, for which he is a senior instructional editor. And he's got a, a daughter, Carla Ray, who's a really good player. She's 16 years old, and one of the reasons that we asked Barry to come on was to talk to us a little bit about the happy and daunting process it must be for a young woman with her folks to determine where she ought to go to school as a super-duper player. Right, Bear? Hey, Peter. Right, Peter. I uh, just want to tell you once again, pleasure to be on the air with, with you. And um, Yeah, it's kind of really cool to have a daughter that's such an accomplished golfer, and um, you know, to see all these wonderful Division One colleges recruiting her. It's quite exciting, Peter, to be honest, you know? Tell me how that works. I mean, how do they recruit her? How do they put pressure on? How does she deal through each, each uh, reach out towards her? Sure, Peter, I'd be happy to. Um, basically, what happens, Carly's been a real good player for a long time, so a lot of coaches have known who she was going back to the age of 11 when she won a world championship at Doral Publix. But um, recently, she's put up some real good scores in some big, big tournaments. And what happens is once kids are about 16 and 11th grade, they like to, you know, certainly come watch these kids perform. And Carly happened to perform very well in front of a lot of coaches. And um, they start taking an interest in wanting to sign that person. And the fact that she's my daughter is really cool, but to, as a golf pro, it's kind of neat to watch somebody like her shoot 67 in a world championship in front of probably 15, 20 college coaches. And, you know, there's a lot of rules with the NCAA, so you've got to be careful. Like, they officially can't really sign a person until they're a senior, but you're allowed to take unofficial visits to the campuses as a junior. And since Carly's a junior, we're certainly going to go visit, you know, six or seven, maybe five or six of the schools that she's very interested in, although really only a handful she's serious about. Now I know that she has played a lot of golf against Lexi Thompson, that uh, that they're pretty good buddies. What's what's yours and Carla Ray's reaction to what Lexi is up to? Gosh, Peter, you know, Lexi's our neighbor. She lives about 20 doors down from us and Carly and her have competed off and on since the age of seven and for a while they had quite the rivalry, although Lexi's has, has really shot off into the stratosphere, but I think my reaction I really respect the way her parents have raised her. They've, her father, Scott, I've known since before either of us had children. We played baseball together, and they've just hit an absolute home run with the way they've handled her. You know, um, Carly's reaction. Carly's right here. If you'd like, I can put her out with you, Peter, and she can give you her reaction if you like. Fire away. Let's talk. Sure. Carly Peter Kessler. Hey, Peter. How are you? <laughs> good. How you do? You're playing some pretty good golf, huh? Thank you. I appreciate it. I've been playing well. What what do you trip when you go out and you tee it up now? Do you have an anticipation of playing well, an expectation of playing well, or is it really I'm just going to play one shot at a time, like we hear all the time, and I'll add it up later? Um, I'm a pretty laid back player, to be honest. I really don't pay attention to my score as much as you think. Actually, my my lowest round ever when I got off the course, I didn't even know I had shot. I had shot a great score I just thought I was playing my game but um it's I I practice hard and I work out my game very hard so I expect to I expect it to pay off and I expect to be playing good golf but I'm never really pushing too hard at it and I just I just try to play my game when I'm out there and not think about the score too much I spent some time with Lexi down in uh, Trinity, Texas. She went and uh, came back to the Spirit International Amateur Golf Championship, of which she was an alumni, and she played with the U.S. team, uh, Austin Ernst and uh, Emily Tewart, um for a day in practice, and um, I was stunned. I mean, she hit it a legitimate 300 yards, and 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 putts in a very free kind of way that couldn't have been easy all these years for the two of you to be butting heads no Lexi's a great player and i'm really i mean i'm very proud of her for what she's doing she's i think she's really going to change the game of golf she's just the lpga tour needs somebody like that in my opinion she's been i really hope she goes far with it i know she's gonna so um i mean i respect what she's doing a ton i know she's a great player i've seen her play um all the girls you just named, we know Austin, she's a great player too. I mean, I think I think that the tour needs somebody like Lexi. She's doing a really great job so far. 
you know, it's funny, Peter, because uh, Austin Ernst is on LSU. That's one of the schools that's heavily recruiting Carly, and we know Austin. And, um, you know, Carly's 16, Austin's probably 20. Lexi's a year older than Carly. So these are girls that we've known, you know, we've watched them grow up. And it is, as a golf pro, it's a treat to see how good they become. And, you know, as a father, it's, it's very much a treat to watch my kid excel at something that has been my living for her whole life. I've been a golf pro, so she knows no difference. Carly, let me, is Carly still on the phone? Absolutely, Peter. Let, let me ask you a question about um, practice. If you, if I said to you, Carly, you can only go practice with one club and it's not a putter for a month. You can only practice with one club. Which one would you use and what would you do with it? How would you reinforce the things that you want to reinforce and get better at things you'd like to get better at? I would choose my lob wedge because... I think everything around the green is very important. My short game, I, need, I think I'd be able to practice uh, keeping my rhythm with the full swing with my lob wedge. Um, and still be able to practice around the greens and chipping, bunker play. Um, you know, everything around the greens is still very important while still keeping my rhythm and the stroke of my golf swing intact. And I just think, yeah, I think I'd definitely pick my lob wedge. <laughs> It, it seems to me, and tell me if I'm wrong, but it seems to me one of the good reasons for taking a lob wedge is if you hit some sort of half shots with it, you still have to make your real golf swing. It may be a little slower, but the sequence has to be the same, and therefore it always seems if you're working on that shot, to me, that you're working on an impact, and that can't be a bad thing to reinforce. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, my probably my favorite club to practice with is my lob wedge, and... Um, I think just practicing, maybe like my favorite shot is practicing um, like little 50 yard wedges. And it's still, you're still making your full golf swing, but it's just reinforcing like a smooth rhythm and just keeping your swing intact the way you want it. And um, practicing with a lob wedge I think is awesome for anyone. I, I love practicing my short game. And if you could only practice one length putt for a month, what would that be? Uh, probably five footers. I'm with you all the way. You can chop those fifties into fives, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm I'm very into practicing my short putts. Every time I'm out, I try to do a couple of drills with them. And um, yeah, definitely five footers. It'll keep your game in shape. Barry, let me ask you one last question. And Carly, it's been wonderful to talk to you. Thanks for thanks for you being too. there today. Thank you. you. Oh, my Blake, my great pleasure. And, and good luck with the process of picking the right school. And I'm dead. Thank you so much. <laughs> My pleasure. Hey, Barry, when, when you when you're working um, together on Carly Ray's swing, I mean, I know you're a fundamentals guy all the way. You don't do trick stuff. You're not looking for band aids. When you when you watch her now, what do you see, and and what pieces do you want to work on more? That's a great question, Peter. You know, um, I am a big fundamentalist. We're always. I'm always on top of her grip, aim, stance, posture, and ball position. But when I look at her and I step back and look at her, I see a world-class golf swing. But I know where it came from. We've been working on it since she's six years old. I think, Peter, the one thing I always work on my daughter with is never getting sloppy in her setup. We're always working on her grip, her aim, her stance, her posture, her ball position. And I think the trend in teaching now is toward 3D motion, and all of that is great. I love using my video, I love using all of the modern technology, but you need to take a person and teach them how to play the game, and I've taught Carly how to play golf from scratch, you know, and I think a lot of the modern instruction can get a little bit carried away with using, uh, you know, the 3D sensors and motion detectors when you forget to teach them how to hold the golf club, that's a major mistake. I am uh, so pleased that we had some time together. Really thrilled that Carly Ray was around. She's the big star of this interview, my man. <laughs> yes, and, sir, Peter. It used to be I was. Those days are over. Yeah, I know. We're, we're getting old, so you just got to make room for the next group. Good to, good to hear your voice. Congratulations on your great success. Let me just tell everybody that they can reach you as a director of golf instruction at Inbury Country Club in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, at Doctor for Golf. That's D R F O R Golf. DR4Golf at AOL.com to reach Barry Goldstein. Barry, thank you. Carly, thank you. And we'll take a short break and be right back.